Let's learn how we can start automating our WhatsApp workflows with artificial intelligence and automation. In today's video, we're going to be using the platform of Zapier and its integration of WhatsApp, but this can also apply to make automation software. So you're telling me, Corbin, all I have to do is watch this video and I'll be able to start saving time with anything I do with WhatsApp, whether it's personal or business. Yes, let's jump in. To start off this video, let's go ahead and create a Zapier automation together. If you have no clue what Zapier is, the AI I'm about to use, and everything above the board when it comes to just automating workflows, check out this channel here, do a ton of videos on it. Let's create the Zap. What's great about Zapier is to integrate WhatsApp, it's simply just your number. And to do so, you'll simply come to the app section here, type in WhatsApp, and you're good to go. Let's go ahead and create our Zap together. We're gonna hit Create Zap. My goal is to show you everything you can do with the WhatsApp integration, specifically in a no-code way. So the example I'm gonna show you today is that when we receive emails that are specifically from customers, we'll get a notification on our WhatsApp. Now the workflows I'm gonna show you today and the automations and the way we go about the artificial intelligence can be applied to a ton of other contexts when it comes to WhatsApp. But first off, Let's just get that email sent as a text. We're going to go ahead and choose a trigger of a new email. We're going to do Gmail. This can also apply to Outlook. Gmail. Once our Gmail is open here, we're going to say new email matching search. Hit continue. So the first example we're going to go over is if the emails you receive typically from customers come with some sort of fixed text. What I mean by this is that when you have a lead form or a contact form on your website, there will be fixed text associated with it. Now, for my example, this is going to be new customer message, and this is specifically for the Shopify site I run. When I receive a contact from a customer, every single email subject line will start with new customer message. Knowing this, identify the fixed text that's typically associated with the emails you receive on contact. Now, if you're like Corbin, the emails I receive, they don't come as fixed text. Like, they will be randomly sent. They'll just click my email, random subject line. Don't worry. In the second part of this video, I'm going to show you how to address that. But first, let's address this type. Now, this depends on where that fixed text is, right? So maybe it's the from email. Maybe every time you receive a custom inquiry, it's specifically from a from email. Now, in my context, it's the subject. So I'm gonna simply do this subject here. Do subject semicolon. And for me, I know every single time I receive a customer inquiry, that message shows up. And I'm gonna simply paste it. Once we do that, we're gonna hit continue here and test this trigger. Now, since this is my test account, I've only received one email in this context, but you see it shows up here. So I'm gonna hit continue and select a record. The next one we're gonna type in is WhatsApp. WhatsApp notifications. With this selected here, we're gonna say send message. Now the way that Zapier integrates with WhatsApp is that we have a couple of different templates here. So any type of template you see, you can apply for yourself as well. For me, I'm just gonna do new message. Now when entering in variables for a WhatsApp message, we are limited to our abilities to add different fields as we are limited to the templates provided by WhatsApp or the ones that Zapier allows us to get access to. Therefore, we can get creative here. For the name, we can put anything we want in theory. So I could say new customer email, or alternatively, I could grab data within that email that I would deem as relevant. If that is not too relevant to us, we could just say new customer email. So we know that we got a new customer email. And then the link to reply, we can either go with just a generic inbox link that is associated with our email account, or alternatively, the message URL that will take us directly to that customer email. From here, I hit continue and test this step. And I received the message. I'm going to go ahead and just screenshot this message because it's not going to look good if I put it in the video and you can just kind of see it right there. What you'll notice is that the sender is Zapier and we get our direct message with the unique variables we put in. Up to this point, Zapier has only allowed us to have the ability to use WhatsApp in the context of notifications. That being said though, there is actually a lot more we can do within WhatsApp when accessing its API documentation. So if you wanna see a video on that, make sure to like this video and let me know in the comments down below. But let me go ahead and show you a little bit of artificial intelligence and let's get a little fancy here. So let's go ahead and say that we don't have a fixed text or something that we can identify within that customer email for us to know that this is a customer inquiry. For example, this person sends me an email saying request for website development consultation. There really isn't fixed text here. Let's find out. To do so, we're gonna go ahead and come back here and we're gonna say new email. Here is the new email that we just pulled. We're gonna say continuous selected record. We're going to add a block here that's going to be a chat GBT block. Chat GBT. Do an event of conversation. Now, what I'm showing you right now could be applied to a ton of different workflows when it comes to automation in general. So this is actually a pretty cool trick. What we can do is this. Context. We received an email. We want to identify whether this is a customer inquiry. I'm going to go ahead and hit shift enter. Enter email. I'm going to do subject semicolon body semicolon. Within subject, we're going to put parentheses here. This is where we're going to put in the data of that underlying email. So coming over here, we're just going to simply put in subject, subject, and then the body. In this context, we just go with the body plane. Now, all we need to do is this. Output yes. Make sure to put these quotation marks. Yes, if it is a customer inquiry. And quotation marks no, if it is not. 
There we go. It's a very simple. It's like Boolean logic and code, true or false. We're going to hit. We're going to make sure we add a memory key. 32 string characters randomized. This ensures consistent outputs here. We're going to continue here and test this step. Now, as we already saw with that email, that was very much a customer inquiry for website development. So we got the reply here of yes. What we do next here is we simply just add a filter. With this filter, what this is going to allow us to do is that when emails come in and ChatGPT identifies that, hey, no, 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 this is not a customer inquiry. This has nothing to do with that. We make sure that we don't get that WhatsApp notification. So we're going to simply do this. We're going to do conversation. We're going to hit reply. Exactly matches. Yes. We're going to continue here, test this step, and this is going to give us a green light. Boom. Notice if that reply or notice that if it was no, it wouldn't continue. So if the reply was no, it wouldn't continue with the record. But if it is yes, we've identified that it is a customer email. Therefore, we can continue with this record. Therefore, we actually get the correct WhatsApp notification. There is a quick AI automation that can be applied to your business or personal life directly. Now, let me know in the comments if you want to see the API version of this where it's a little bit more complex, but we're able to do a ton more stuff when it comes to WhatsApp. Make sure to leave a like. It's completely free. And I'll see you in the next video. These two videos are based on everything you've done on YouTube. If you don't know who I am, my name is Corbin Brown. You should check out this channel. We do a ton of stuff when it comes to automation, AI, learning on what's new in AI, everything about the board, and I'll see you in the next video.